Now, there's an old saying from a mentor of mine years ago. It says, show up on time, come prepared, do your best, and don't be attached to the outcome. And I remember that quote to this day, and that's a great advice, and advice that we should all take. So being prepared is very, very important. But I wanna to talk to you about a concept within this being prepared of what's known as A, B, and C work. Because a lot of people think that we have to be perfect in everything we do in real estate. And that's just not true. We do not need to be perfect at everything we do at real estate. There's times that we need to do A work and be the best we can be, and there's other things we can do that might relate to C work, okay? Let me give you an example. We had a gal on our team years ago who became a very successful agent, but early in her career, for every time she would set up a showing, she would call the listing agent and f try to find out everything she could about the property. She'd, be, she'd do a complete market analysis on that property. She would then do a complete loan printout on what the payments would be on this property, including all the principal and interest tax, insurance and association dues. So for every property before they went out, this client had all this information. She would always preview the property, never show a property without having looked at it first. And she would then go out and show property. Now, that was an incredible way to be prepared. And that was A work, A plus work above and beyond. But here became the problem. When she started to sell more properties and she all of a sudden would at now, instead of having one buyer at a time, maybe three, five, seven, or even 10 buyers at a time, plus listings at the same time, she was completely overwhelmed and came into kind of an emotional meltdown. Well, the reason she did is because she was such a perfectionist that she didn't know when to do A, B, and C work. So when I sat down with her, I talked to her, I said, okay, when you go out for a property, let's line up the properties that might work, let's set up the showings, let's map them out, and get a little bit of background on by what you can get from the MLS printout, and then show the properties. Now, if they have interest in any property, then that's where we do A plus work. We're gonna find out everything we can about it. We're gonna, we're gonna run comps on it, do a market evaluation on it, call the listing agent, um, look at every other property in the market that's sold. We're gonna to go to great extent, okay, to be prepared. But you know, you need to know when to do A work, B work, and C work. When I do a listing presentation, you do A work. When we set up and we talk on one of the trainings on preparing and a listing presentation and presenting the actual presentation. It's a two part talk we do. And one of the things that we wanna talk about is that's really important. Because one client that when we get that listing as opposed to losing that listing, it might not just be one client, it might be multiples because they tell people about us. Very, very important. So we need to look at our, our job and we need to decide when we do A work, when we can do B work, and we can do C work. We never do poor work, but we have to decide the A, B, and C.